So what is intra-articular hip joint injection with visco supplementation? Ooh, well, one of the main causes of hip pain is osteoarthritis, which is inflammation and, and wear and tear of the hip joint itself. Um, patients need to be uh, fully assessed with a history and examination, uh, and they often need investigations such as an MRI scan or an X-ray to clinch the diagnosis. Once it's been made, some of the simple treatments include medication, um, but sometimes if that's not effective or patients are getting side effects from those medications, uh, we can do a simple minimally invasive pain management procedure. Now this is done under x-ray or ultrasound guidance. We can inject local anaesthetic or local anaesthetic and steroid, but increasingly we're injecting substances called visco supplements. Now, visco supplements are essentially a synthetic form of the fluid that you find in the hip joint or in any joint. Um, it tends to be a very thick uh, synthetic preparation. It looks like sort of oily, looks more like jelly, actually. And basically, we would, under ultrasound or x-ray, we will identify uh, the hip joint. We will put a needle into, inside the hip joint. And once we're satisfied that we're bang in the middle of the joint, uh, we will inject the visco supplement, which again is this jelly-like substance. What does that do? Well, what the visco supplement does is it goes inside the joint. The first thing, it provides a physical barrier inside the joint itself, and it will reduce the inflammation that occurs on either side of the joint in the bone. So that will help to reduce pain fairly quickly. The second major activity of visco supplement is that it will allow regeneration of the cartilage and an increase in the uh, production of synovial fluid, which is the normal fluid that is inside people's joints. Uh, that will increase as well. Overall, um, we have a situation where there can be an improvement in the patient's hip pain from a very minimally invasive pain management procedure, which can be done uh, as a walk-in, walk-out procedure with minimal adverse effects. Uh, certainly there can be significantly less adverse effects than with medication. And for patients who uh, may be considering surgical intervention, it is a uh, last step, in minimally invasive procedure before undergoing formal surgical joint replacement. In terms of the risks and benefits, benefits, pain relief, 10 to 14 days to work, risks, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort. You may get some numbness and weakness for a few hours afterwards, but otherwise it's an extremely well tolerated and simple procedure.